Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. In this video, we'll see about what is mutating trigger and we'll see what should be your answer from interview point of view. First, let us understand the concept of mutating trigger through a simple scenario based example. So here is an employee table which contains information like employee number, e-name, department, job and salary. So the expectation is we need to write a trigger which logs whenever the salary is updated. So the log should capture something like it should capture the old salary and the new salary only if the uh, new salary is less than 1 lakh. In case if you are trying to update more than 1 lakh then it should not update. Instead it should log a message saying that the new salary is more than 1 lakh. Let us say an example. Suppose if you are trying to update the salary of employee number 1005 with 45,000. For example, 1005 is Smith, his existing salary is 40,000. So when you are trying to do an update statement like this, the trigger should go on log in the log table like salary updated successfully, his old salary is 40,000 and his new salary is 45,000. Let us see one more update example. Suppose if you are trying to update another employee salary like 1006. So 1006 existing salary is 40,000 and we are trying to update it with the new salary of 150,000. In this case, the new salary is more than 1 lakh. So the update should not update the employee with the new salary. Instead, it should say salary not updated for 1006 and it should say employee salary cannot be more than 1 lakh. So how to achieve this functionality using a trigger? It's very simple. We need to use the row level trigger to update only in case if the salary is less than 1 lakh. So what we are going to do, we are just going to create a row level trigger. So you can see this is a row level trigger because we mentioned for each row class here. Then I'm, I've just declared a variable which can hold the maximum value. So I'm using a simple if class here. So a simple if which checks whether the new salary is less than the maximum salary. So in this case, the maximum salary is initialized with 1 lakh. So if it is less than maximum salary, then we are just inserting into the log table saying that uh, salary updated successfully along with the old salary information and new salary information. In case if the if condition fails, then what we are doing, the new salary bind variable we are assigning with the old salary bind variables value. That means even though we are updating with 1,50,000, uh, the new salaries bind variable we are reinitializing with the actual old salary. So it is as if we are not updating. Along with that we are just uh, logging saying that salary not updated. So in this simple example we are restricting in case if the salary is more than 1 lakh. If it is less than 1 lakh we are allowing the update to happen. Fine. First let us see this uh, demo. Then we'll do a small change in this program to understand the mutating trigger concept. Okay, I'm creating the employee table and I'm creating another table employee cell log basically to log the information from the trigger. I'm populating the employee table with a few employee informations and I'm just committing the records. All the informations are committed. Let us just query from the employee table. So here all these informations are there starting from uh, 1000 as employee number for King to 1006 employee Varun. Okay, so let me just query the employee cell log table. Obviously, just now we created the uh, table, there is no information. Fine. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create the row level trigger. As I mentioned, I'm using one local variable called L max cell, which I'm initializing with 1 lakh. So that L maxal variable I am using to compare whether the new salary what we are going to update is less than this maxal or not. Fine. I am just creating the trigger. Now you can see the trigger is created. Now let us do a update operation. So as I mentioned, I am updating the employee number 1005 with 45,000. So obviously this update will go through. Let me just query from the log table you can see salary updated successfully. Let us query from the employee table just to check whether the salary is updated or not. So now if you see 
employee id 1005 new salary is updated with 45000 fine now let us fire one more update statement so in this case we are going to update the employee number 1006 with a new salary of 150000 so the existing salary of 1006 employee is 40000 fine so now let me just fire this update statement so it is saying updated let us just query from the log table the log says salary not updated because in the trigger we actually used a condition like update only if the salary is less than 1 lakh otherwise we are just assigning the new salary with the actual old salary let us just query from the employee table just to confirm whether the update is not going through in fact the update is happening but it is actually updating with the old salary itself you can now see here the employee 1006 salary is still 40,000 only fine let me just commit the records now let let us come back to the same scenario so now what we are going to do instead of the actual one lakh now we are going to do a small change to this trigger saying that rather than keeping the um, maximum salary of one lakh now we need to check if the employee salary is less than the salary of the ceo then proceed with the update otherwise don't do the update operation let me reiterate the point again rather than having the hot coded one lakh variable here instead of having a hot coded value now we are going to check let me show you the king salary that is the ceo salary so in this case the ceo salary is one lakh fifty thousand so the expectation is whenever we are updating a salary of an employee we need to check whether his salary is less than the ceo salary but this rule is not applicable for ceo for ceo ideally we should be able to update any salary but for rest of the employees whenever we are going and updating the salary we need to check whether his salary is less than the ceo salary if that is the case we should ideally proceed with the update otherwise we should say that employee salary is greater than 1,50,000 or whatever the CEO salary. Let us do, let us see how to modify the same trigger. So this is our uh, existing program. So here is the modified trigger. So you can see here, the only change I have did is, I didn't hard code the variable. So in this case, if you see in the existing uh, program, we hard coded with one lakh. Instead of hard coding, now I'm just initializing this variable with CEO salary. So that is the, that is one change I have did. Another change is I just modified the if condition because we want to do this condition check only for employee other than CEO. So in case if the job is not equal to CEO and if his salary is less than CEO salary, then only we should proceed with the update. Otherwise, ideally we should say that salary not updated. I hope the program is clear. Let me just reiterate the point. The existing program is basically we are checking if the salary is less than 1 lakh or not. In the new trigger, a slight modification we did is whenever his salary is less than the CEO of salary, then we should proceed. I hope the trigger is clear now. Let us try to create this trigger and let us try to do an update and see what we are getting. So now so here is the uh, new trigger. So instead of the hard coded value, I've just selected the salary from employee table where the job is CEO. So that particular variable I'm using for the comparison. First, let me create the trigger. Okay, the trigger is created. Let me try to update this employee table. Now, if you see the same update statement we executed, like our earlier case but this time we are getting an error saying that employee t is mutating trigger function may not see it so this is a mutating trigger let us try to understand why we are getting this mutating trigger so the first thing is when we are doing an update operation and when the table what we are updating is triggering or firing a trigger Suppose in this case, the employee t, t, t table fires the trigger because this trigger is created on top of employee table. Within the body of trigger, 
if we do a select rn update so i just want to reiterate this point within the body of trigger if you are doing a read operation or a write operation it may be a uh, update insert or delete operation on the table which actually fired the trigger then we will get an error called mutating error so i just want to reiterate this point because this is the key point what you have to mention in interview a dml statement that fires a trigger which in turn read tries to read or do a write operation on the table from where the trigger is fired will raise an error called mutating trigger so from interview point of view what you need to say is whenever we are doing a dml operation and if the dml operation fires a trigger and from within the body of trigger if you are trying to read or write the same table then we will get an mutating trigger so here is the clear statement you need to mention mutating trigger occurs whenever a row level trigger tries to modify or select data from the table that is already undergoing change so this is called the mutating error this trigger will this mutating trigger we will get only from the row level trigger and it is not from any statement level trigger so this point you should make it clear from the interview point of view i hope uh, it's clear now in the next set of videos we'll see how to avoid a mutating trigger and in another video we'll see how to avoid a mutating trigger using compound trigger I hope you have learned something new today if yes please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be answered you can post it in the comment section or you can post to this gmail id and thanks a lot for watching this video